Hey everyone, today I want to make a video about my hair loss and some things that I've noticed throughout the years. So bear with me because I'm doing this off the fly, there's no script. So I kind of want to start backwards, I kind of want to start this year, 2021. So let's see, actually let me start 2020. 2020 we had the pandemic, I already knew that I was having some problems with hair loss and also some seasonal shedding and the moisture from my hair was really, you know, reduced uh, due to the weather. Uh, so this was just the beginning of the pandemic. So I was just taking some photos in my backyard and this has like a little bit of a filter, but if you zoom in a bit, you can see that, you know, the sides are kind of thinning and it's been like this, I've noticed this for some years now. Okay, then fast forward, sorry about the photo, sorry about the face. Fast forward to August of 2020, when I came back to my college, um, I noticed that you know, the weather was more favorable and for some reason my hair was breathing a bit more. And if you look here, you might just say, okay, there's nothing wrong with your hairline. Maybe the lighting is favorable, but there's nothing wrong with your hairline. You have, you know, some good hair, right? So I started wearing a do-rag and stuff to compress the hair down just to see how much length I would be getting in the front. And as you can see over here, uh, oh wow, there's uh, no hair loss, right? There's you, you have a hairline, some might say. Um, and this just goes to show illusions, to be honest with you. Because what I'm going to show you later is the true extent to how much hair I was m losing in the front. And this had been going on for a while. So essentially, the hair that I have was covering some of the bald spots. Because, you know, some parts were growing unevenly. And as they become compressed you don't really notice the amount of hair loss you have at the hairline. At least I didn't. And you know, wow, another jump. Wow, that's crazy, right? This photo was taken on my birthday in December. And if you zoom in, it's like, wow, uh, dude, what are you talking about? What hair loss? You, you have a hairline over here. Um, what hair loss do you have? Well, I was doing this little thing with my hair where I would do like twists and uh, free, uh, free form uh, dreads, I think it's what it's called. And I was just letting the hair grow out. Um, and as the hair grew out and got bigger and other hairs started to join with other hairs, they started to clump together and gave the illusion that my hairline was thicker than it actually was. And let's go on to this. This photo was taken after that. So this is sometime in 2021. Um, and I'm in my my apartment on campus and you know I really haven't been doing anything to my hair I haven't been picking it out I haven't been combing it but as you can see wow he has a hairline what, what is he talking about hair loss for right and then this was taken in April I want to say sometime in April of 2021 um, and as you can see hairline like what hair loss did I notice like how was my hair loss due to male pattern baldness and I will say now um, male pattern baldness is in my family my eldest brother he lost his hair at I want to say 20 he was a Norwood f 4 at 20 and now he's like 25 26 he's Norwood 6 so it's it's pretty much gone for him uh, and then this is me coming back home for a weekend and as you can see, wow, okay, you he has hair. What is he talking about? And you can really see that the hair in the front of the hairline is actually starting to lift up a bit because there's a lot of hair on its sides, underneath. Um, they're just really clumping together. So you're, you're starting to get like this Afro-esque uh, type of formation. And then this is me back. I did not get a haircut. I was simply wearing a do-rag uh, for a bit and a hat for a bit and it compressed the hair. So you're probably looking at the hairline wondering what am I talking about? Uh, some of this is out of order. Um, so this is out of order, right? This is from uh, about three or four photos ago. This is from this era during my birthday uh, of 2020. Uh, so this is right around Christmas, actually, um, because a whole lot of red came out, the Playboy Cardi album. So. If you look at this photo, you can see that the hairline is actually there. Like th there is a hairline. There's probably no thinning that's noticeable. And 
I attribute all that to the fact that the hairs, at least for sea hair, has a lot of coverage when it grows out to its like fullest length, right? When you have afro hair, or if you're a person with any sort of curly hair, thick hair, you won't notice that you're losing hair until you've lost a lot of ground. And I'm glad that, you know, I was able to see it early, even though I've noticed my hair loss since I was like 15, I've been noticing, you know, some slight recession at the temples. So let me go to 2021's folder. I get a little bit of a haircut and then I noticed like not a haircut but a trim and you know although the photo doesn't look like I got a trim um believe me I did I got a little bit of a trim on just the sides right and just to take off the little bit of, of the front um then I noticed okay what is going on my hairline is super thin and it did not look like that you know a couple months ago so this is August 2021 uh, and if you check to the April photo that I had, it looks like completely different. It looks like I've aged like three years in a span of two months. Well, I am the same age, I was the same age, and the reason for that is that there was a hair illusion going on that tricked myself and tricked others. Um, and that hair illusion has to do with one, 4C hair and its ability to cover more area, and two, the fact that the moisture in the air and everything played to my benefit. Three, just the overall hair length and the fact that the other hairs were clumping together at the hairline to make it appear that it was fine. As you can see, uh, it was thinning, or it, it has been thinning. And overall, there's like this weird, you know, thinned out area. And that isn't due to the, um, the trim. Believe me, that wasn't due to the trimming. You're gonna see a bit later on. So this is me pulling back my hair to show the hairline. And you can see that there's definitely some dead zones over here, like there's some thinning areas. Um, and I will comment at this point in time, uh, I did have a bit of inflammation going on right around here. So it could just be overall uh, the male pattern baldness and the inflammation contributing to this overall thin look. So. I had I had a lot to deal with at that time. Uh, this is just another you know zoomed in part of it. It was really thin here, and also I will comment in some of the other 2021 photos, the uh, the ones that you know where I look like I have a full hairline and stuff. I would look into the mirror and just slightly at this area of the hairline, um, just just slightly, I would notice that. I could see light going through it, and this was like, you know, I, I was growing my hair out for uh, for a bit. I'm like, that's weird. Why? How come I only see light going through that particular area? Well, it's because that area was thinned, and it was thinning severely, and the illusion created, uh, the illusion that I had, the hair illusion that I had, tricked me into thinking that I had full coverage. One, that wasn't the case. It, it was it was thinning, and I had to do something about it. So I went to the dermatologist um, about. I want to say August 2021, yeah. And although it doesn't look like, you know, I'm thinning, the hairline is what is concerned. The top, I'm fine. I don't have anything going on at the top, uh, thankfully. But just the hairline, it pushing back. Um, and although the hairline isn't being physically held back by a hand, uh, he was just showing me, um, my dermatologist was just showing me how I should take my hairline photos. So, you know, he's just showing me this. And uh, when he pulled my hairline back, he was like, yeah, you, you know, you are thinning a bit, you know, you are losing some hair. Um, and, you know, it's not really common that you have doctors that are aware of, you know, African-American hair or African hair, whatever, 4C hair. Uh, and, you know, I really appreciate that he, you know, was able to notice some recession going on. So, okay, maybe I'm going a bit out of order. Or, order but, uh, so this is me getting out of the shower. Um, you can see that the front of the hairline has thinned. Like, it is thin, right? You, you can see that showers, you know, uh, do expose a lot when it comes to hair. Um, you can see that, you know, it looks slightly better than me pulling the hair back, but believe me, it thinned severely in the front. Um, and this is me pulling my hair back, right? This was sometime in August. You can see that the hairline, you know, I was, I, I was taking Minoxidil and I, 
was on finasteride as well. Same photo, just different lighting. But then, you know, fast forward to now, uh, it's October, and although the lighting isn't as, you know, equal to this lighting, or, or this lighting, or even this lighting, uh, there has been some improvement. Um, as you can see, this particular part of the hairline uh, has come a bit forward. There's some baby hairs that I noticed that, I, that have started to grow. So I showed you bits of the 2020 folder. Uh, let's go to 2019. So in 2019, you know, like I said, I've, I've noticed some hair loss from when I was about 16. Uh, and you know, that's normal when you're transitioning into, you know, your adult form. Uh, this is a bit of a dark photo, but you can, you know, make out the hairline. It was, it was straight. Uh, this is me at Boy State, uh, a bit of a pixelated thing, but you can, you can see that, you know, I had, I had the hairline going on. And then this is a bit of a better photo, my track days. Uh, yeah, I had, I have a hairline and it was thick. Um, and there were no like noticeable spots. And this is my uh, my graduation photo, and you know, had the same thing, good hairline, thick. But all the while, while I had a somewhat good hairline, I, I was just born with a big forehead. All the while, it was sort of a lie, because the hair type has good coverage, 4C has good coverage, although, you know, it does grow kind of slow. It, it has good coverage when it comes in, when it gets to its, uh, you know, year length, like one year f length. Um, hairs would clump together, hairs would stick together, and it would make the hairline look like it's fuller than it actually is. And that's the warning that I want to give to people with curly hair or any hair that has good coverage. This, I want to say this is probably the best my hair has ever been in terms of like shape and just maintenance and uh, whatever. Um, this is, this was taken in 2018. Sorry about the train that's going by. This was taken in 2018. And you, you can see here that, you know, I have like a lot of hair in the front and it was thick, visibly thick. Uh, this is during my soccer days. So you can see right over here, visibly thick to the point where, you know, I had recently um, got a little bit of a, you know, shape up, but the hairline was actually lower. You can see the baby hairs. It was actually down here. Um, that, that was like, wow, you know, that was the point where I was like, wow, you know, uh, I do have a lot of hair. And then, you know, this photo where I'm fooling around, yeah, you know, same thing, straight hairline. Uh, this was early, tw uh, no, this was, uh, this was late 2018. Um, no, mid 2018, sorry. Yeah, as you can see, the hairline, I just, just my, you know, big forehead. And although this is low visibility, you can see that, you know, the hairline was there. So, I don't think there's anything in 20. Oh, uh, yeah, 2015, it's just a uh, kid photo of me. I have to be a bit quick because YouTube likes to block content that has baby faces in them. Um, my hairline was, has always been high. It's always been high. This is just how I was born. And this was 2015. And uh, maybe if I was raising my eyebrows a bit, you can see the, uh, the top wrinkle and you can estimate where my, you know, hairline was or, it, you know, naturally is. But I've always had a big forehead. So, so this is the part where I'm just going to talk to you guys. One of the important things about recognizing your hair loss is one, you can't always rely on the opinions of others of your hair, right? You have lived with your hair all, all your life. You know how it should feel. You know how it feels on your head when the wind's blowing through it. You know everything about it. So when you ask someone who's likely your friend, who doesn't want to hurt your feelings, who says, you know, oh man, you're not thinning. It's all right, nothing's wrong. You look all right. You have to realize that hair loss is progressive. And even at that particular point in time when you may look all right and presentable, you may also not realize that it's getting worse and you may not always, or in the future, you're not always going to look all right and presentable, especially when you have other factors like scalp inflammation, you know, maybe moisture, or maybe you're just having a bad hair day in general, uh, you know, random cow looks, whatever. That, at that point in time, you're going to notice that your hair hasn't just all of a sudden, you know, gotten worse. It's always been bad and it has always been getting worse. But you have had favorable conditions to make it look good. 
So with my hair type, with, you know, Africans, West Africans, African Americans who have 4C, or just anyone who has curly hair type that can cover a lot of scalp area per hair, we're, we have an issue. We have an issue such that we're not going to notice our hair loss until we've lost a lot of hair due to the innate coverage that the hair gives us. So once you notice your hair loss, you have to accept it and you have to ask yourself, am I comfortable with losing all my hair? And what are the measures and steps I can take to combat hair loss? And once you ask these things, you gotta initiate. So for me right now, I'm taking finasteride one milligram, but I split it 0.5 mil milligrams a day. And I'm also using minoxidil. I'm thinking about getting an RU5881. Uh, sorry, I'm thinking about giving a test subject of mine RU5881 um, in an academic setting because it is experimental. And that's what I meant, ha ha ha. Um, but you know, those are some of the things that I'm doing right now, taking finasteride and minoxidil to combat, topical minoxidil to combat my hair loss. Um, and yeah, just the biggest part of it is recognizing that you have hair loss and not trying to avoid the fact that you have hair loss. So that's pretty much it for this video. I know I've been all over the place. Uh, maybe I'll make a better video in the future. Um, but this is just, you know, off the fly. I wanted to just get something out there to show people, you know, that hair loss, uh, although you may look good now, you really have to scrutinize and go through your pictures, look at your hairline, feel it, remember how it used to feel, and ask yourself, yeah, my hair looks good, and it may look good in this lighting or whatever, but how much hair do I really have? Is it the length? Is it the, the hair type coverage that is deceiving me? Because if all these things go unnoticed and you're always like, oh, I have good hair, um, and especially when you have a history of hair loss in your family, in your genetics. Oh, I have good hair. Oh, I have good hair. By the time you realize it, you would have lost way too much hair for it to, you know, fully recover or to get a somewhat good recovery. So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.